What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon here and today I'm doing a very different video than I usually do. I'm going to walk into the wonderful wacky world of Walmart here which is right across the street from where I work. I'm going to see what kind of product they got. Uh, first time I ever made a video like this uh, going into a store looking for a product so I don't know how it's going to go. Usually they have a pretty good selection. Today I'm looking to get some Crown Zenith product. Hopefully like an ETB of that. That'd be cool. Uh, hopefully we don't see a whole lot of Pokemon Go or Shining Fates. I really wouldn't be interested in that. Uh, but usually they have some ETBs, a lot of sealed packs, collection boxes. So let's take a look inside and see what they got. Now I'm not a real big fan of going to Walmart. The only reason I do is because it's literally right across the street from where I work. So occasionally when I get a break or if I'm leaving for the day, I'll stop into Walmart and uh, when I'm not getting some milk and eggs, maybe check out the Pokemon TCG and see what's going on there. So this uh, area right here was where all the uh, TCGs are. And the first thing you'll notice, ooh, a couple of Charizard UPCs. First thing you'll notice, not really any price tags on these things. You have no idea how much they cost until you're checking out. Uh, that includes those UPCs. I have no idea how much they uh, are charging for those, but we're looking for some Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Boxes. Uh, I've been itching to open up one of those, and there they are right there. So I'm gonna grab one of these puppies right now. We're gonna take it home, hopefully get a few hits. I've been really itching to open up some sealed products, so let's do it. All right, folks, here it is, the Crown Zenith ETB. Sorry, no face cam today. Wasn't feeling cute. Uh, but before we crack open this puppy, I'm going to show you a few things. So I have a stack of code cards here that I'm going to go through and uh, feel free to take these. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to vent a little bit uh, about Walmart. Well, maybe it's not really about Walmart, but rather the city I live in, uh, which is filled with bums, I believe. Like, the words that come out of my mouth every single day is... Why is nobody working? Like, am I the only one working? No matter what time of the day, no matter what day of the week, there are just people all over the place not working. Just going to Walmart, driving around, wasting gas, complaining about eggs. Like, is it, does anybody else have this problem where they live? I don't know. Every single time I go into Walmart, it is like a freaking zoo. Uh, I'm just tired of it. Like, go to work. Seriously, it's 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 like Monday afternoon and Walmart is packed and it's not even a holiday. I don't know. Anybody else have that problem? Is it just me? I don't know. I'm just whining too much. I'm just, just ugh, drives me nuts. Man, there's a lot of code cards here. Uh, but yeah, I got these code cards. We open up a bunch of packs, a bunch of these packs during Christmas time, and the kids don't use these, so here you have it. And I'm also going to show you a couple of graded cards I got back. Uh, a couple of Charizards. Uh, a little bit of eye candy there. And then we're going to open up this ETB. My gosh, this is like a lot of, a lot more codes than I thought it was. Ugh. I remember when these used to be worth something. Like, I don't know. I don't think these are worth much anymore. Like, maybe a couple pennies a piece or something. I don't know. But I've been looking to get rid of these. So this is it. After I uh, show you all these, I'm going to toss them. I'm tired of seeing them on my shelf. And a couple more here. And, and there you go. All right, anyway, I sent my Evolutions Charizard to be graded. It is beautiful. I thought it had a really good chance of getting a 10 or even a 9. I don't know. The centering is pretty good. Uh, if I do say so myself, I didn't see any issues with it. The back looks pretty clean. I mean, take a look at it. It's not, not too shabby. Uh... Yeah, I don't know, you might be able to make a case for a dot. I don't, know. I don't even think there's a dot down there. But it's very well centered, the hollow is very clean. Uh, I didn't see any scratches or scuffs. I'm not sure what happened with this card. I know this is a very difficult card to get in a 10, and I thought it was going to be at least a 9. Uh, it was beautiful, but it's sad. Like, the, the PSA 10s are close to $2,000, like the $1,800 to $2,000 range. And this PSA 8 is like... 64 bucks buy it now or best offer it's just crazy the disparity between a 10 and even a 9 actually a 9 is probably not too much uh, more expensive than this there's just so much in the pop report but anyway yeah i got that back and then i got this puppy back and i was actually pretty pleased with this because it's kind of it's pretty off-centered uh from bottom to top there but it got a psa 9 this is a pre-release zard not the staff version but just the uh the pre-release stamp and yeah, it's just 
it's definitely a centering issue with this card, but I was surprised it got a nine. I would have expected this card right here to get the nine and this one to get the eight, but they switched. So I guess if you're going to have a, one of these cards get a nine, I'd rather it be this one. So that worked out nicely. But yeah, those came back from my most recent submission. So yeah, let me uh, cut this puppy open. Maybe your boy can get a hit. I don't know, but we'll find out here. I think there's 10 booster packs in it, so hopefully we hit something. I've been hearing the pull rates for the set are a little more generous than anticipated, so yeah, I'm sure this is not the first uh, Crown Zenith ETB you're gonna witness being open, so I'm not gonna go through all the contents. You know what comes in these. But yeah, so it should be 10 packs here. Let's get started. I would really, really like to get, if I could pick one card to pull from this, it would be the Mewtwo V-Star, uh, for sure. Like above the gold cards, above any Charizards, the Mewtwo V-Star would be bomb. Oop. So there's that. I do have some plastic uh, penny sleeves here in the very off chance that I actually pull something. So we'll see. Uh, ba -ba four, right? All right, yeah, I did it right. So yeah, this is the first time me opening this. I, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Uh, hopefully something very shiny at the end here is a whale nerd. A Pikachu, whoa! I don't know if that's, uh, I mean, this used to go for a pretty decent amount. I don't know, I consider it a hit. Your boy don't hit too much in terms of modern, so this is very nice. I am very pleased already. Uh, it's definitely off-centered, but otherwise pretty clean. But yeah, that's a, that's a nifty card. I'll have to see how much that goes for. I will put at the bottom of this uh, my pulls here, which will be this Pikachu. We'll see if I can make my money back with this ETB. I spent 50 bucks on it, so that's a good start right there. Got a full art Pikachu. That's very nice. Let me sleeve that up. There we go. You got to find that sweet spot in these sets where you're you're not like opening up tons and tons of boxes and getting nothing, but you also don't want to get just tons of hits out of every ETB. I wouldn't make it very challenging either. So yeah, Pikachu there. Let's put him in the background. Good start. Good start. I like Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith pities me and gives me some pulls because it knows I can't pull crap. All right, there's the code card there. So. Friends in Hisui, Lost Vacuum, Snow Runt. Yeah, I don't know. Every so often, I get an itch to open up sealed product. I don't know why. It's, it's not very often, but now and then, I'm like, you know, I need to enorm, 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 I don't know what the, I don't know. I'm not even going to try to say that. I, I am awful at stating uh, modern Pokemon names. I shouldn't even bother ever trying. So nothing out of that last pack. There's a code card. Let's see if we can't get that Mewtwo. Whoop, saw something. Giraffe rig, something, rescue carrier, blah, blah, blah. Helioptile, Hulu, oh gosh. Shinx, Snow Runt, ooh, a Hisuian Samurott V. And a, wow, this is a very generous box. Uh, Professor's Research Full Art and a Hisuian Samurott V. Uh, I'm not sure the value of either one of those. Like I said, I'm going to add all these up, see uh, what, we, what we get at the end of the video. I'm probably going to go by TCG player prices. So that's pretty cool. Let me sleeve these up. So yeah, your boy is not very accustomed to pulling things, to uh, pulling hits. So if, if I sound really surprised, it's because I almost never pull anything. So yeah, I like this set. Gives me hits. All right, code card. All right. Pack number four, I think. Got an OG coughing, Bidoof. Gotta show some love for Bidoof. Just gnawing on a stump there. Uh, <laughs> Purloin, Grubbin, a Mill Tank, followed by a Galarian Berserker, so. Hmm, kinda cool. All right, we're about almost halfway there. We had a uh, retirement party for a guy at work today. He, uh, he has seen the light. Today was his last day. And I am super jealous because I am like, I don't know, 25 years away from retiring. It's very sad to think about, but uh, he had his last day at work and I can only imagine how he's feeling. The excitement of never having to go back there again. It must be overwhelming. We got a Riolu and a Hollow Ditto. Now I know this probably isn't worth anything, but it's a pretty cool Ditto. I like that. 
Very nice. All right, pack number six. Let me butcher that. We're starting off with a love disc there. Whoop, sorry. There's a code card. One, two, three, four. I still can't believe I pulled that Pikachu. It's probably not worth anything, but it's just nice to pull something. Got the Bisharp, Love Disc, Chatot, Ponyard, another Bidoof, a Purloin, and a Zeraora. So absolutely nothing in that pack. So what do you all think of Crown Zenith? Uh, I've, I've, I've seen mixed reviews from the community uh, whether or not this is a top tier set. Um, I don't know. I think time will tell. All right, I think we're going to get another hit out of this one. So I've got a Shaman, a Seal, Cricketot, Aeron, Real blah, 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 blah. Ooh! Wow. Oh, my gosh. Like, <laughs> sorry, I haven't watched any openings of this set. This is the first time. I just heard that they're a little more generous with hits, but that's crazy. Darkrai V-Star. That's beautiful. And then you get the Full Art Friends and Sinnoh. That's awesome. These look a lot better. These look a lot, have a lot better centering than this here Pikachu looks like. So, wow. I, I think I like this set. So two more awesome cards to add to the pool list. Let's put them right back here with old Pikachu. That's what my dad always used to call him, Pikachu. He used to piss me off. Like, it's Pikachu, dad. Quit messing with me. All right, getting down to the final three packs. And so far, I am pretty satisfied. We have a Metal Energy to start. Digging Duo, Giraffe Rig, Young Goose, Eggs, Rock Ruff, Purloin, a Paris. I guess that's the Reverse Hollow, and a Mew. Oh, that's cool. Wow. To say this set is generous with its pools is an understatement uh, because you pretty much get almost a, a nice hit every pack. Certainly wouldn't mind getting the... Uh, Oh, slipping there. Wouldn't mind getting that uh, Galarian Gallery Mew card. I think it's a Galarian Gallery card uh, with Mew sleeping and all the Pokemon surrounding it. Okay, I think I might have done it right. I don't know. Friends in Hisui, Trainer, Ponyard, Whalmer, you got a Pokeball, Corfish, Oddish, a Mewtwo. Cool, gotta love Mewtwo. So, okay, the V-Star meant nothing. Okay, cool. Well, at least got this reverse haul of Mewtwo. That's pretty bomb. All right, last pack. And if I get nothing out of it, that's okay, because I got a bunch of these hits there in the background. So, very pleased with this opening. You can tell I don't open packs very often. All right, let's see what we got. Got the Crushing Hammer, Luxio, Rescue Carrier, Aeron. Starly, Scyther, Emolga, a Radiant Eternatus. Oh, and nothing. So cool, got a Radiant card. Um, I don't know, Radiant cards don't really do it for me. I like my cards to be shining. Uh, but what do y'all think of the Radiant cards? That's pretty cool, I guess that would be considered a hit. So I'm gonna go through these hits real quick. You got a Professor's Research, Friends in Sinnoh, a, a Pikachu, Radiant Eternatus, Mew V, Dark Rai V Star, and the Hisuian Samurott V. I think I like this Dark Rai V Star the best. That's pretty, pretty awesome looking. So thank you so much for tuning in, folks. I know I don't do this very often. This video will probably get little to no views, so it is what it is. I had a lot of fun opening this. Let me know what you think of this set. Thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you in my next one.